Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo estamos, chicos y chicas? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. That's great to hear that. Tell me. I have information. Uh -huh. Tell me. <laughs> De lo de lo, ¿Cuánto duran los, los, los cursos? Los cursos, ajá. Díganos. Ajá. Todos duran seis meses. Ah, ok. Ya el otro, ajá, ya el otro ya sería el primer, el primer módulo del intermedio. Intermedio, ok. Ajá. Solo que el intermedio y el avanzado dura un mes, una semana. Ah, es un right? Ya no va a durar solo un mes. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, Ajá. qué bueno, Alexis. Muchísimas gracias por la información. Pues ahí está, chicos, para los que estaban preguntando también, ¿verdad? Y tenían la duda de cuánto duraban los cursos o cuánto duraban los niveles básico, intermedio y avanzado. Pues el compañero Brandon ya nos dijo la información, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes la tomen en cuenta. ¿Ok? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, George. ¿Cómo estamos? How are you? Glad to hear that, right? Nice to hear that also, right? I'm great. Thank you. Yo creo que a los demás ya han de haber enviado para la inscripción para el módulo 1 de la de la otra etapa de inglés. Ah, ya les mandaron la información. Qué bueno, me alegro. Así no perdemos okay. pues, este, el tiempo y empezamos a reunir los papeles para que puedan estar a tiempo con la inscripción. ¿verdad? Teacher, uh -huh. este, ¿cuánto dijo el muchacho que duraba cada curso? Mes y medio. ¿Cuánto? Duran seis meses. Seis meses. Uh -huh. Y el avanzado uh -huh. dijo que duraba un mes y medio, el final mistake. No, no el, intermedio, el intermedio duraba seis meses y el avanzado seis. Ah, Solo okay. que el módulo ya no va a ser de un mes como esto, sino que va a ser un mes, una semana. Ah, ok, soy, it's going to be, ah, entonces entendí mal, Alex, yo creí que me decías un mes y medio, pero entonces va a durar más, ya no van a ser entonces las, ¿qué? ¿Cuarenta Cuatro horas? semanas, no van a ser cinco, digamos. Ajá. No sería... O sea, sería un mes y medio por cada módulo. Ajá, en el avanzado. Ah. Y en el intermedio también, creo. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces varía. Ya no sería mes a mes, sino que serían más horas. Qué bueno, entonces, sí. Alexis. Thank you. Estamos hablando de cerca de nueve meses por cada... Por el intermedio y el avanzado. Ajá. Por un mes y medio cada módulo. Sí, así es. Muchas gracias por la información. Thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. Yes, Thank the information. you. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye, chicos. So, it's four minutes past eight, guys. And we are going to wait two minutes more in order the others can connect here, right? Uh, for a while, if you want, we can start uh, making a review about the class that we were discussing yesterday. And also we can pass the list if you want, right? Ah, okay, estamos solamente, ah, okay. Freddy is connected right now. So maybe they can connect you and we can pass the list for the first time. Hello, Freddy. how are you? Good, good evening. We are waiting for you, Freddy. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. Entonces empecemos. Just making a review about the last class, or I pass the list. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? What do you prefer, guys? Pass the list or make a review? Pass the list. Pass the list. <laughs> okay, perfect. So I'll give you some minutes. I'm going to open the list. Let's see, guys. Vamos a ver, where are you? Okay, just give me some minutes. Ah, here we are. This test is the right system.
Y vamos a ver dónde estamos, dónde estamos. We are number 18. Ok, let's start, guys. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Ana Victoria Galán. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. De Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adili Hernández Chacón. Fredis Ricardo Landaverde. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, George. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. I'm here. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Michael. Norelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you, Morelia. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. O Kelly de Jesús Eméstica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Cas. I'm present. Thank you, Verónica. Excellent, guys. So, almost the same students, right? But that's good. Okay, so let's see the review that we were making yesterday. Just to remember a little bit. What we were studying yesterday. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Who remember? Check your notes, please. We talk about uh, the use the we, uh, sorry, was, where. Uh -huh. What and where. Uh -huh. We studied uh, present progressive. The present progressive, excellent. Uh -huh. It will make it different between the present progressive for future and present progressive just for right now, guys. Right? Right? Final mistake. Some yes, examples. Okay, Veronica. Some example, guys, about that. I am eating my my dinner. Okay, I'm eating my dinner. Okay, this is present progressive. Muy bien. What else? She Somebody dancing else? with me. She she's, dancing with me. She she is dancing with me. Okay, like the song, right? She's dancing with. <laughs> okay. Wow. Somebody else. I'm working. I'm working. working. Yes, ah, oh, you are working. Okay, perfect. Somebody else. I am cook the dinner tomorrow. Am, okay, I am cooking the dinner tomorrow. Cooking this the, is okay. This is future time, right? This is say progressive, right? For future. Okay, excellent. Oh, I need four for future. Both are okay. Okay, somebody else wants to give another example? I'm reading my notes. Okay, I'm reading my notes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Morelia, what are you doing? Love. I'm giving her love. Ah, okay. <laughs> you are giving him a love, right? Yes, giving okay. her. Yes. Okay. Okay, you are doing her love. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Somebody else? George? Examples, guys? No. The cat teacher. How about present privacy? Uh, maybe 
He writing the email. Okay, he is writing or sending the emails. Muy bien, yeah, excellent. Excellent, oh, she, Alexis. She is buying the new clothes. Okay, she's buying new clothes. Muy bien, excelente. But maybe she's buying new clothes tomorrow, right? If you want to pass it to the future time, right? And this moment, I'm beginning English class. Okay, muy bien. This moment, I'm... Beginning? Being in the English class, okay? Yo estoy en la clase de inglés. Okay, perfect. Excellent. But, okay. pues, entonces... De eso se trataba el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Hablar acerca del present progressive that is happening right now. Remember that that is also the ING form o gerundio, como le llamamos, ¿verdad? Y es apoyado por el verbo to be siempre, as auxiliary verb, okay? So it means always when you are going to use ING form, you are going to use the verb to be before that, okay? Remember that. En also, chicos, estábamos hablando de la diferencia entre el futuro, ¿verdad? Que solamente lo marca las time markers or time clauses for future, right? For example, tomorrow, in the afternoon, in the morning, eh, the, past, the day past tomorrow, eh, next week, next year, next month, right? On weekends, etc., 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 right? Okay, perfect. So this time, uh, let me tell you that we are going to talk about past tense. Today we have a new topic. Well, it's not a new topic, but you already see it, but it's just touching again, right? You are going to use past tense, but with verb to be. And what is verb to be, decíamos en present? Verb to be is, significa, o que significa ser, ser estar? Perdón, significa ser estar, ¿verdad? Es, is, am, yes. And are. 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 So these are the three forms of the verb to be. But in this case, we are going to talk about past tense of that forms. And what are the forms in past tense? We we have just two, okay? Was and were. And were. were, okay, perfect. So I'm going to share the screen and then we're going to start with the class class. Almost a bit. Okay, and here has this table just to remember. Okay, it's not too much because we already studied it before. Just to get in touch with that topic. Okay, or remember this topic. Today is October fifth, right? Two thousand twenty-three, and our topic is to bear to be in past. The rules are as follow, right? When we talk about past tense of the verb to be. We are going to follow this structure with first person. What we are going to use was or where? Where was was right? And you where he, she, and it is was, and we, you, and they is were. Que significa? Yo fui, yo estuve, ¿ok? Eso significa el verbo to be en pasado, ¿ok? Recordemos que en presente siempre es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Present time. Is, are, am, am, right? Uno lo ocupamos con primera persona, otro lo ocupamos con segunda persona y otro lo ocupamos con terceras personas. Ahora bien, esta misma de acá, en the past form, estamos, significa yo estuve, yo fui. Y solamente tenemos dos variaciones o dos formas, ¿verdad? Que sería was and where. where. ¿Y con qué ocupamos was, decíamos? I. Person. Only first y two person. Uh -huh. She. Is. It. He, right? 
Con eso vamos a ocupar was, ¿ok? Was. Quiere decir que yo voy a decir I was, she was, it was, he was. Yo estuve, ella estuvo, eso, esa estuvo, él estuvo, ¿ok? So let's see with the second form, ¿ok? When we are going to use where? We, you, there, ¿ok? We, you, there, ¿ok? So in this form we're going to use where. So that means we were, you were, they were. Nosotros sure. subimos, ustedes está, estuvieron, ellos estuvieron, díganme. En, en, el, en you, you se aplica a tú, ¿verdad? Pero y para decir ustedes, ocupamos you también, va con you. Sí, es lo mismo. Ajá, lo puedo ocupar con you. Lo único que uno es singular y el otro es plural. plural. Ajá. Tú estuviste, nosotros es, o ustedes estuvieron. ¿verdad? Pero siempre va con la misma variación que sería en este caso where. Ok. Let's see this table. In this table is better explained. For example, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. Ok. Si se fija aquí está el you pero en singular. Y aquí está el you, pero en plural. ¿Ok? Ok. Excelente. Por ejemplo, vamos a ver algunos ejemplos con la forma afirmativa. Recuerden que siempre hay tres formas, ¿verdad? La forma afirmativa, negativa e interrogativa. Let's see one example. Por ejemplo, tenemos I was at school Yesterday. Aquí podemos utilizar también las time clauses o las, las, las marker, right? I was at school yesterday. Okay, you were. You were. You were working mm -hmm. in the afternoon. You were working yesterday. In the afternoon. Okay. Excellent. Number three. She. Vamos a hacerlo con she. She was with you yesterday. Ella estuvo contigo ayer, ¿verdad? Puede ser in the park. With you in the park. You can say you specify the place, right? In the park with you, right? With you in the park yesterday, right? Next, another example, guys. It was raining mm -hmm. yesterday. It was raining, we did. No, last week. Okay, last week. Last week. It was raining last week. Muy bien, excelente. Another example. Volunteers. What? No las escuché. Los dos me hablaban al mismo tiempo, se oye como una interrupcióncita por ahí. Who wants to participate? Could be, he was running seven kilometers diary. He was running seven kilometers, kilometers. Diary, diary. okay. Diary. So we are going to make a variation, kilometers, right? Uh huh. Another, another example. He was waiting. He was waiting. Uh huh. He was waiting. Here. 
O sea, como, él estuvo esperándolo. Ajá, for a long Está time. bien. Okay. Okay. About four hours. About three hours, right? <laughs> okay. He was reading her for a long time yesterday, but could be, right? Okay. Let's see. This is positive form, but let's talk about negative form. In the negative form, always you're going to add the word not. In this, in this case, we are going to use the abbreviations or the contractions that is in this case is wasn't. I was, I wasn't. You were, you weren't. He was, he wasn't. She was, she wasn't, right? It was, it wasn't. We were, we weren't. You were, you weren't. And they were, they weren't. Ellos estuvieron, ellos no estuvieron. Ellos fueron, ellos no fueron, right? Remember that verb to be means ser o estar, right? So in this case, you are going to take that into account. Let's see, make some examples with negative form. Okay, number one. It, was. it wasn't raining last week. It wasn't, uh-huh. Raining. Last week. Last week. Excellent. Number two. I wasn't watching the English class. Okay. Yesterday. I wasn't watching. It's true. Or I wasn't taking in this case. Pero no, no estuve, no tomé las clases de inglés ayer. Ah, okay. O no recibí, right? I wasn't taking the English class. Yesterday. Okay, excellent. Number three. She um, or you? I wasn't. Okay, I wasn't. Uh -huh. I wasn't there. Yo no estuve ahí ayer. Que <laughs> se le oye muy cortado, George. <laughs> Sorry, no le escuché bien. I wasn't. In Panamá, yes, Ah, ok. I wasn't in Panamá. Yesterday. I wasn't in Panama yesterday. Thank you so much. Number four. Uh -huh. Another example, Ana Victoria. Sonia wasn't working in the office yesterday. Uh -huh. Excelente. Sonia wasn't working in the office yesterday. Okay, perfect. The last one, okay, number five. We weren't working today. You weren't, muy bien. Working today. Working today. Muy bien, you weren't working today. Excellent, thank you so much. So this is the way that we are going to make the negative form. So let's talk about interrogative form. As you already know, it's the same, right? You are going to change the position of the subject with the main verb that in this case is verb to be, but in past tense. So that means you are going to say, if you are if you say I was, to make the questions, you are going to say, was I, was I your girlfriend? Yes or not? No, you weren't. Oh yes, you were. In the case that you're going to respond, the yes, no question, right? Or were you my my friend uh, last year? Yes, I was. Oh no, I wasn't, right? It depends. Was she my teacher the last year? Yes, she was. Oh no, she wasn't, right? 
So let's make some examples with the with the affirmative when when with the rogative la cosa, with the interrogative form. Interrogative form. Oh, sí. So porque se me pasa esta abajo. Interrogative. Okay, let's see. Number one. Okay, decíamos, was she? Was she? My teacher last year. Was she my teacher last year? Yes, she was. Oh no, she wasn't. Could be negative or could be positive. Let's see another example. Could you tell me an example, please? Teacher. Uh -huh. En la plataforma a mí no, no sé cómo ponerlas porque me salen todas malas. Le pongo coma, le pongo este el punto. No sé cómo hago para que me salga bueno. Pásenme la copia. Vaya niño, la copia del grupo de WhatsApp, please. ¿Qué de tarea? ¿Qué de tarea es? <risa> ok. So let's continue. Y te damos la respuesta. ¿Qué número? O sea, ¿qué número tarea? Tarea creo que es la 15. Bye. I'm going to send you the screenshot. Ok, you, the, the, girl, the guys is going to send you the screenshot, right? Ya se la mandamos. Ok, perfect. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, were they dancing in the party? Okay, were they dancing? In the party. Okay, in the party. Okay, they, were they dancing in the party or were they dancing at the party, right? Because it's a play. At in the party? At, at. Yes, at because it's, it's about a place, right? Okay. Party in a party. Si es dentro de la fiesta, sí, ¿verdad? Pero si estamos hablando de lugares generales, at the party, right? Okay, thank you, Veronica. Dice ahí. ¿Respuestas, Freddy? Uh, yes, they were. Okay, yes, they were. Oh? Not they were. No, they weren't, right? Okay, let's see. Another example, guys. Me, teacher. Okay, Maria Jose. Okay. Were we the team that win the prize? Were we the team? The e team. The team, uh -huh. Como equipo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. team mm -hmm. that win the prize. The win, that won. Won. Uh -huh. won. won the prize. The prize. The won the prize. The answer. Yes, uh -huh. we weren't. Yes. yes, we were. Or not, we weren't. Where were we the team? Okay, yes, we were. Mm. No, no, we weren't. Weren't. Si esto si lo tomamos como los chicos, verdad? Pero si lo tomamos como el equipo sería con el pronombre it. Yes. It was or no, it wasn't, right? Pero como estamos hablando como las personas del equipo, ¿verdad? Entonces sí aplica, ¿ok? Ok, one more, please. Um, were you buying the food um, in the supermarket yesterday? Ok, were you buying... At a supermarket yesterday. Weren't you buying? Why am I so not in love? Buying at the supermarket yesterday. Answers? Yes. Yes, right? Where? Yes, I was. Oh no, I wasn't, right? 
Oh, no, I wasn't. ¿Por qué teacher no, no responde con el mismo you? Ah, porque acá es como Ay. que yo te esté preguntando a ti y tú me respondes como primera persona. Por ejemplo, Freddy, were you at the supermarket yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Entonces, son las únicas excepciones en las cuales el pronombre va a cambiar, ¿ok? Porque se responde como primera persona, no se responde como segunda. ¿verdad? Porque solamente es una conversación entre dos, ¿ok? Excellent. So, questions so far. Yo sé que estos ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? Solamente para recordarlo, ¿ok? Any questions? <laughs> questions so far, guys? Okay, let's practice. Okay, let's practice and then we're going to pass to the manual, right? Vamos a ver. Quiero que me haga una oración, chicos, utilizando el pasado del verbo to be. ¿Verdad? Haciendo referencia Where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estuvieron ayer? Where were you yesterday, guys? And write into the chat meeting. I was working. Uh-huh. Write it down, please. Hola. What happened, teacher? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody, somebody is talking, right? Just <laughs> this, uh, Maria Jose. Yesterday, I was at the hospital because I feel sick still. Really? Maria Jose? Yes, yes. You, you tell I me, have, right? Yes, I don't know. How do you say um, malestar de garganta? So I have sore throat, dolor de garganta. Yes, I'm running nose and headache y todo. Yeah. So maybe you have a flu, right? <laughs> yes. That's why. I'm sorry, but you have to take some pills, please. And you don't yes. to get it better. And also, you have to rest a little bit, right? Thank you. You're welcome. We hope you get better tomorrow. Okay, somebody else? Vamos a ver. Let's see. ¿Quién me, me escribió? Marisa. Marisa, perdón. Was he kissing her girlfriend last night? He was or he wasn't? Mm -hmm. He was kissing. Was he kissing his girlfriend last night? Okay, in the morning, I was working... Then I was visiting the doctor also, Maritza. Are you sick also? No? Okay. Maria Jose is a kiss that was in hospital because I feel sick. It's still sick. Okay. I already did it. Okay. Uh, Veronica, yesterday I was sleeping also, right? Okay. Anna Victoria, I was in the meeting in the Cusquantan Park yesterday. Nice, Anna. Excelente. Michael, I was at home with my family and the dog. Okay, perfect. Ma with es la H, tiene que ser a lo último. With. Okay, with, with, with. My family and the dog. De ahí lo contrario, está súper bien su oración. No se preocupe. Somebody else? Okay, Freddy's. Yesterday I was working in the morning. Excellent. Morelia. Yesterday I was working from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I understand that, Morelia. Sorry, but you have to work. You have to, right? <laughs> okay. Somebody else. It was a little bit hard, but we have to, right? <laughs> Somebody else. No, okay. 
Right, ahora switch, guys. So you are going to write down a negative sentences using the verb to be in past. Okay, go ahead. You say, just say, I was visiting my mother and in the morning I was in my job. You say, Alex. Bienvenido, Alex. Thank you so much. Excellent sentence. Now we have to write it down, but the negative form. I wasn't watching TV. Excellent, Maritza. I wasn't watching TV yesterday, right? Denise, I wasn't playing soccer yesterday also. Excellent. Somebody else. Yesterday I was I wasn't playing soccer, says Alex. No, okay, excellent. Also, Anna Victoria, I wasn't working in my office yesterday. Maria Jose, last Saturday I wasn't reading my new book. And Brandon says I wasn't made. Alex, uh, check your answers. Check your 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 sentences, please. I guess it is like error de dedo, or maybe the corrector, maybe right? Because I wasn't making in this case, or I. Me corrigió. <laughs> sí, eso se mira, okay, porque es make making homework yesterday. I wasn't making homework yesterday. Okay, perfect. So just change. Michael, you said, in the morning, I wasn't working. Excellent, Michael. Congratulations. That's the way. Somebody else? No more? Ok, perfecto. So, let's switch. Ahora me van a hacer una pregunta utilizando el verbo to be in past. Ok, question, please. María José, what should, what should your boss in your last job. Okay, perfecto. What's your boss in your last job? Okay. Somebody else? Were you studying yesterday? Were you taking the bus yesterday? Okay, excellent Morelia, excellent Maritza also. Brandon, was she sick yesterday? Yes, she was. <laughs> Maria Jose. <laughs> yes, she was, right? George, Alberto La Inés Díaz, my boss is going to work. Mm. Eh, tiene que ser en forma de pregunta, este, George. Alex, yesterday I didn't... Mm. Alex, revise la, la pregunta también. Michael, we were dancing at home. Ok, revise también la pregunta, Michael. Acuérdense que cuando estamos hablando de preguntas, pasa el sujeto. Después del verbo principal, que en este caso es el verbo to be en pasado. Quiere decir que si la pregunta, si el, si el statement, we were dancing at home, 
Usted para hacer la pregunta tiene que hacerlo. Were we dancing at home? Y siempre escríbanme el signo de interrogación al final. Porque si no, no es pregunta. ¿Ok? For example, Alex could be in this way, right? Was I doing my homework yesterday? No worries, Alex. You can change this. Was you taking a shower all this time? Okay, excellent, George Hernandez. Denise, were you in trouble yesterday? No, I have, I have, I have not stayed like this, right? Also, was Amanda swimming in the pool? Yes, muy bien, excelente, Victoria, así es. Also, Denise, está super bien su question. Somebody else. Okay, so somebody else? Michael, were we singing in the morning? Ah, sí es. Es super bien. Excelente. Were we singing in the morning? Alex, did you do homework yesterday? Ok, Alex, vaya, este es el pasado también, sí, tiene razón, pero este es con el verbo eh, auxiliar do or did, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita solamente estamos haciendo pero en pasado con el verbo auxiliar to be, que en este caso es was and where. No worries. Was she dancing last night? Yes, she was or no? She was, right? Excelente, Verónica. Okay, somebody else? Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. But ahora sí vamos a hacer la práctica. Solamente una práctica, después vamos con lo siguiente, okay? Vamos a ver. Let's see. Because of the time, it's the most insights that I've done. Okay, Rachel. Okay, guys. So here you have the link. <laughs> no come back. <laughs> okay, go ahead and get into the link, please. No <laughs> I know. Okay, so I'm going to share what you're going to find out there, right? So practice with the past forms of the verb to be. So in the first one, you are going to just write it down, was or where. Depends on what you're reading, right? And depends to the personal pronouns that you have here. And the second part, you are going to choose was, wasn't, or weren't. This is negative form. Just to click in the in the in the in the spacing blank, and then you are going to choose what is the best option. Okay. So next, in the third part, you are going to rewrite using the interrogative form. Quiere decir que aquí me dan la positive form, but I'm going to change it to the interrogative form. And you already know what happened with the interrogative form, right? You already know what you are going to change and those kind of things, right? And then in the fourth part, you are going to complete the short answers, right? For example, we, we have, was Nick at your college? No, he wasn't. Okay, and they give you the clue, right? If it is positive or if it is negative, you already know what you are going to do, right? Okay, go ahead. This is as simple as that, right? Easy. This is a piece of cake, okay? Go ahead.
Okay, vamos a ver. Who's the first one? Okay, Maritza, nine of ten. Congratulations, Maritza. Excellent. You're welcome. Dice Daniel, excelente, eight of ten, congratulations. Congrats.
Salen las caritas como cortadas, como cargando. Ay, no. That's funny, right? Yeah, it was just a double question. Well, that's why, okay? That is why. No, porque sí están buenas, okay? No worries. Victoria dice, okay, Victoria, nine of ten. Congratulations, Victoria. Okay. I know. <laughs> Julia Memes, right? <laughs> okay, excellent. So somebody else? Alexis Velasquez, Night of Tem, congratulations, excellent. Michael, eight of ten, congratulations. <laughs> so well I can feel the cayol need. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Qué bárbaro son. <laughs> Se cayó. <laughs> I know. Sí, okay, sigamos chicos. Entonces, let's check it. Number one, tell me, please. I need your help. Day, where it was? Where? Day, where, okay. You? Were. You were. She? Was. She was. The boy? Was. Was. Y siempre le escribo otra vez. Was. The children? Where was? Were. 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 Okay. So let's see the part number two. Wasn't or weren't? Wasn't. 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 Okay. Number two. We? Wasn't or weren't? Weren't. Weren't. Number three. You wasn't or weren't? Weren't. Weren't. Number four. The book wasn't or weren't? Wasn't. Excellent. Number five. Your hands wasn't or weren't? Weren't. 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 Okay. Dirty, right? So let's rewrite the the ones that we had to pass to the question form so the the affirmative form is you were at war so where were, you? were, you? were we or were, were you, you at, okay were you were you at, at work? work were you at work yes okay number two was in the garden. In the garden. Okay. They were war warriors. 
or worried? Were they worried? Were they worried? Uh -huh. Lucy, Lucy was present. Was Lucy present? Was Lucy present? Let's see, number five. His friend were late. Were his friend late? Were his friends late? Okay. Friends, his right? Friend. Friends, excellent, friends. So part number four, okay? So we are going to write it down if it is positive or if it is negative, but talking about answer, short answer. Were they at the zoo? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Okay. No hay problema si me escribo todo en mayúscula, teacher. Fíjate que no sé, vamos a probar, pero igual, ¿verdad? Pues lo escribimos en minuto. Bueno, la vez pasada no hubo problema, pero no se les la verdad. I didn't, I didn't try yet, right? This is the first time, okay? Was the test easy? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay. Let's see. What sound with you? <clears throat> no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Were you angry? No. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Were the tickets expensive? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, let's see. No, right? There is no problem. If you write it down in capital letters, right? 10 of 10. So you are pretty well that in that, guys. Congratulations to all of you. Excellent job. So this is the way that you are going to make and you are going to work with uh, the verb to be in past. Talking about affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences, right? Or a statement, right? Okay, Nancy, eight or ten. And now, dice, no sé dónde me equivoqué, dice, okay, let's see. Ah, you make, a, you, you, you write down the question mark, and the question mark is already done. It's already given. Okay, that's, that's the problem. But they are good. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's continue with the manual, okay? By the way, do you have some questions about this? Teacher. Teacher. Es que yo vi que estábamos, cuando se los pidió que hiciéramos las preguntas, la mayoría usábamos como el ING, el verbo, pero veo que se puede usar este, sin el ING. Sí, o sea, vaya, este, se puede hacer esa, ese tipo de... de... The statement con el verbo to be en paz también, ¿verdad? Pero <coughs> se utiliza también el was o el were en simple past. Pero si usted quiere hacer pasado progresivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, entonces sí vamos a utilizar el ing form. Pero depende de qué tipo de pregunta te estén haciendo. Por ejemplo, okay. si te están diciendo, uh, was, uh, was she reading a book yesterday? Estuvo ella leyendo un libro ayer? Yes, she was, right? O si estuve, es, es, estamos hablando de, ¿qué? De algún lugar. Was she late at the work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Estuvo ella tarde el día de ayer en el trabajo? Sí, mm -hmm. ella sí, no voy a ni, right? Mm -hmm. Pero se puede mm -hmm. también, depende de qué tipo de pregunta estás haciendo. Sí, sí. Okay, you're welcome. Quiero ver qué dice. Tiene los dos signos de interrogación. 
Sí, así es. Es que lo que pasa es que en la pregunta ya está el signo de interrogación al final. Por eso Alex se lo toma como malo, porque lo escribió. Ajá. Sí, eso pasó. <ríe> ok. Fudios. <ríe> ok. ¿Somebody else? Somebody else has a question? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Vamos a ver. Let's share it, guys. Guys, guys. Vamos, vamos, chicos. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde estamos? ¿Dónde nos quedamos? No, este no es el suyo, chicos. Creo que abrió. Déjame ver que me está mandando un mensaje al grupo de los teachers. No, pero eso ya me, ya me escondo. ¿eh? Voy a cerrar. Este es el de nosotros. Curso, sección, estamos en sección 3, ¿verdad? If I no mistake. Sería acá, ay, que estoy haciendo el mío para. Sección 3, procedures, 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 procedures. Okay, yesterday we were talking about procedure, Mr. Perez, right? And we were making this and this and also this. We're filling the profile. Also, we were talking about a IG form also, right? Now, what we have here. So this is the last things that we were making, right? Write sentences using the present progressive forms of the verb between parentheses, right? And you were making, so what we are going to do now, guys, we are going to continue with this, okay? You are going to write a seven line paragraph about activities you are doing this day. Use present progressive, okay? This is a practice. You're going to make a paragraph, but you are going to describe what are the actions or activities that you were doing or you are doing this day. This. Si gustan, lo podemos practicar con el pasado para que así abarquemos los dos topics, ¿verdad? Aquí tendría que ser en presente. Pero ya viendo que vamos entrando al pasado con el verbo to be, lo pueden hacer en pasado, ¿verdad? Que sería siempre con el ing. Sería pasado progresivo. ¿Ok? Y es the same, right? ¿Es clear? ¿O lo hacemos en presente? No, mejor en presente, no voy a hacer que, sí, que se, se nos confundan. ¿Ok? Bueno, entonces sería present progressive, guys. Is clear what you're going to do? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Teacher, are we going to talk about the the things that I do every day? Mm -hmm. or For example, every... las que las que hizo hoy, las que has ha hecho ahora supuestamente, verdad? Pero lo tenemos que hacer en presente, en el presente ah. progresivo. Ajá, porque okay. sería bueno hacerlo en pasado, pero mejor en presente progresivo para que evitemos confusiones. Okay. 
Okay, Thank perfect. You. You're welcome. Please stay up. That's the ticket come on the road because that's it. It's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pobre hombre, como agarran del pelo.
I finished teacher. Me too. Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else? Okay, let's start to check it. Who wants to participate? Who wants to read it first? I want to read it. Okay, Morelia, go ahead. Thank you so much. Okay. I waking up at 5 o'clock a.m. <laughs> every day and I am and I am taking the, the bus early to go at my work. I'm working near to my home my house but the traffic is very hard in the sun because i'm living in tonacatepeque so it's very difficult to me to go out to here i'm trying to leave the work early to have a break before taking the class okay excellent thank you so much somebody else marixa would you like to read your paragraph yes uh, well in the morning i am working then I am visiting the doctor because I am sick. Also, uh, right now I am in my kitchen and I am taking taking my English class, and okay. and I am trying to participate. Um, by the way, uh, my brother and my father are in the living living room on the sofa, and they are eating pizza and watching the news. Okay, okay, excellent, Maritza, congratulations. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, friends, go ahead. Okay. I worked the whole day. When I left in drove home to receive the English class, the traffic was heavy, but I arrived on time. Had a quick meal and then connected to the class. Finish. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Somebody else who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, these days I'm doing exercises every morning because I need to lose weight, <laughs> and I'm feeling much better with myself. Okay. Also, I'm eating a healthy food these days. At night, I'm reading a new book before go to sleep, and I'm trying to improve my habits. Hey, excellent. Congratulations. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Um, I am working in, okay. dif in different activities in my work. I am writing a terms or reference for a consultants and I am preparing the class for the next Saturday and also I am doing a homework of a business diploma the name of diploma is in the woman business program because with my friends we are thinking establish uh, business to sell coffee. 
Okay, excellent. Good idea. Congratulations, Ana Victoria. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody else wants to participate? Nobody? Brandon? Maria Jose? Ah, Maria Jose? Ya participó Maria Jose? Alex? Uh, me faltó unas oraciones. Ok, si gustas, pues puedes terminarlo, no hay ningún problema. O puedes decir solamente las que tienes. <laughs> Está bien. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I am sleeping at night from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh -huh. I am doing my homework at night. I learn reading each day. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else who wants to participate? No? Me, the turn. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Brandon, go ahead. Okay. Now I, I wake up at 5 a.m. I take in a shower and I brush my teeth at, at 6 a.m. I'm going for work and I'm taking my breath at, at 7 and a half a.m. and I'm starting work at 8 a.m. at uh, p.m. at 12 p.m. I'm taking my lunch and at 1 p.m. I keep working at 3 p.m. I left my job and I went to the mall to buy a gift for my mom and I'm paying for some things at the bank. In the evening, uh, I cook in dinner and at 8 p.m. starting class. Finish. No se escucha. Thank you so much. Entonces, Brandon, disculpa. Este, Freddy's, I see that you want to participate. Nuevamente. Ah, ya pues si pasa es ready. Yes. Pero no, si no lo leo de nuevo. No, no hay problema, Freddy. Lo que pasa es que me confundo con las voces. Como a veces no tengo todo el panorama. <risa> entonces estoy compartiendo pantalla. That is why, guys. Sorry for that. Ok, okay. so let's continue, guys. Mm -hmm. that is okay. Sure. Uh -huh. I have a question. Ok, Alex, tell me. Can I say... I wake up dreaming and come back to bed. I wake up. I wake up dreaming. Dreaming. Yes. Me desperté soñando. Me despierto uh, soñando. Ajá, uh -huh, en regresar a la cama. Ah, okay. I didn't <laughs> understand. So I wake up eh, wishing, right? Deseando regresar a la cama también podría ser. Ah, mejor. ok. okay I wake okay. up wishing to come back to my bed, right? <laughs> wishing. Yes, wishing, to right? Come back to my bed. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. See, it was funny, right? <laughs> I wake up <laughs> wishing, right? Yes, you're right. Sometimes that happen, right? A veces pasa, ¿verdad? Que no tenemos ni ganas de levantarnos, pero we have to, right? <laughs> okay, perfect, guys. So let's continue. It says, what are some qualities of a good employees need to have? Make a list of the procedures. Eso que no lo hicimos. Essential qualities to get promotions. Eso ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Oh, no. No. Oh, vaya, eso es un más. Sí, sí, pero esa es la misma pregunta de la vez pasada. Okay, perfect. So let's repeat it. What are some qualities that a good employees needs to have? 
What do you no, think? No, reading teacher. What? No reading. No Leo. No Leo. No. Ah, I I don't <laughs> see it very well. I right? don't see. Okay. Okay. So, like this is okay. 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 <laughs> okay, perfect. No worries. I have that problem also, right? I tend to uh, make me say because I I do see well. <laughs> so I had to use this one. <laughs> yes. Put on your glass. Yes. <laughs> For the glass, right? Okay. So let's start, guys. What do you think? What are some qualities of a good employees need to have? Be a good worker, we're outstanding, decía la, la mm -hmm. pasada Alexis, ¿verdad? Sobresaliente, ¿qué más? Proactive, responsible. Responsible, responsible. active, right? Outgoing, also, right? With values. With values, okay. What else? And what is the most essential quality to get promotion, guys? Promotion. Mm -hmm. Punctual. Be punctual. Yes, you're right. Be punctual and responsible. I guess there are two most important, right? Being honesty. Oh, be honest. Okay, be honest. Muy bien. Excelente, Ana. What else, guys? Complete the work as signature. Okay, complete the words as sign as sign up, right? El trabajo asignado. Okay, perfect, excellent. So let's check it in. Let's read these a uh, performance reports of two employees. Okay. Here we have Raul Perez and here we have Karen Solano. So let's evaluate which of these employees are the best for getting the promotion. So you are going to test. You are going to be the ones that is going to test them and you are going to give the promotion, but you are going to decide by reading each report performance or performance report that we have here, okay? Y eso lo vamos a hacer, ¿qué? A leer. Sí, lo van a leer con un compañero. Y ustedes van a decidir a quién le van Tomorrow. a dar. A quién le van a dar. Promotion. La promotion. O el promotion. Very good. Very good. Vale, voy a poner Pérez porque veo que se me están durmiendo. Si no, ya lo voy a poner a bailar. Wake up. Ok, wake up. I'm tired also, but I have to, right? It's strange and funny, okay? It's valid, okay? If you feel better, it's good for me. And also for you guys. Just talking, talking, talking like a chatting box. Crick, 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 crick. What? I would like to see your face, guys. Creo que muy tarde, porque ahorita ya ando está en, la, en el tercer sueño ya. Sí, así los veo. Yo siento que cada vez que va pasando más el, el nivel, es como que un poquito más de discusión, un poco más de reading. That is why you feel like this, right? It's not, it's not like when you start with the models and you are active because you are practicing, 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 right? With some vocabulary words. But in this case, it's necessary, guys, that you participate and try to speak, but... Speaking also in, imply read, okay? Read and make some exercises, right? In reading part also, right? So let's get it in pairs, okay? So you are going to discuss what is the best option for get the promotion. You are going to be the boss, okay? You're going to be the bosses, right? And you're going to decide who is the best for that a promotion okay so let's see how many of you are 18 okay so that means we're going to make nine pairs nine pairs so go ahead 
If you are alone, I'm going to change you, okay? No worry for that. Go ahead. Try to speak, okay? Please. We are going to discuss who is the best. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Get in the salas, please. Get into the groups, guys. Chicos, ahí cambié a Ana Victoria y he cambiado también a Freddy. Okay, Freddy's getting to, just getting into right. Vamos a ver quién más. María. Morelia Perdomo, que lo vamos a poner con Alex, seven. y Miguel Santos, vamos a cambiarlo con Sala 6, con George. Ok, guys, cambié a Miguel, a Morelia, pasémonos, o a Alex, perdón. María José, vamos a ver, María José, ¿dónde estás, María José? Ok, Brandon se va a pasar con María José a sala 5. Ok, Brandon, María José. Brandon la pasé a sala 5. Brandon lo cambié a sala 5. Por favor, pasémonos. Ok, guys, después de haber eh, leído los perfiles, ¿verdad? Del comportamiento de cada uno de los empleados, you are going to discuss who won the promotions. And then you are going to explain what do you think they had or she have, right? 
he or he he or she have to be promoted okay and you are going to explain it in four lines as we have in this exercise in this example right that i send you to the whatsapp group okay i sent you the pictures that you're going to follow right Hola. Hola. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me?
from Mr. Danny, Mr. Perez. Uh, because? Because. Um, attitude, uh, attitude positive, um, leadership. Uh, because he has leader. Leadership. Leader, ¿cómo se escribe en esto? Solo mueve abajo el, esta tarde, sí. Leadership. Leadership skills. Leadership skills. Es skill. uh, okay, so interesting, right? So you are finalizing, right? The activity. Yeah. Great, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you have been a uh, makeup, right? <laughs> just make <laughs> You didn't read, just make <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, no, así no se vale. <laughs> no. <laughs> because she has uh -huh, a I don't think. <laughs> a positive no, attitude. Sí, lo leímos. Yes, the no, no. Yes, we 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 right. we're discussing, attitude. right? Yes, yes, we discuss why we choose we chose we uh, should be promoted. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's let's continue. When we come back to the uh, general meeting, I'm going to ask you. Okay, finish okay. to write it down. What do you think or what do you consider he or she is going to be promoted? And then I'm going to ask you, okay? okay. Thank you so much. Okay. And I'm going to check the other words. Okay. Okay. Siete a nueve. Hello. Hello. De siete a nueve. Ajá, es la práctica de los horarios. Sí, yeah, I guess. No worries for that, right? Vale, chicas, ¿se completaron la, la, la actividad de que, por cuál consideran y por qué consideran que se le daría la promoción, verdad, o el ascenso a qué persona, a Karen o a Mr. Pérez? Ah, Karen, ok. Karen. So... Uh -huh. So if you consider it's going to be promoted, Karen is going to be promoted. Uh, because she has better performance. Uh -huh. She is always punctual. Uh -huh. And she likes to work in group and follow indications. Is okay. a leader. Uh -huh. Is proactive. He, is she has more quality. quality Qualities, 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 right? Qualities. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, excellent. Thank you so much. Bye. Ya voy a ir a revisar el último grupo. Los voy a sacar y lo vamos a ir a la general y voy a preguntar, okay? Okay. Alasa. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo van, chicos? Good. Cool. We're discussing about the, the employees because I think that the better option is Raúl, but Alex says that uh, Karen Solano is the, the best option. So we are playing rock, uh, paper, or scissors mm -hmm. to, to live a, to be agreed, but no. Yeah. But you can consider and write it down the reasons why each of you thinks that the opposite person is going to be promoted or, or is considered to be promoted because of the qualities that he or she has, right? 
You can write it down both, both reasons, yours and the Alex reason, right? Okay. Hello? Oh, oh. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? ¿Qué pesa más? Eh, ¿Una actitud o una... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? O, ¿O una acción? Depending, because if you have the attitude to make the things well or to try to make the things, it's going to be a little bit eh, heavy, right? But mm. if you also... Consider the action, right? Uh, it's the, the actions uh, doing or done, right? Shows mm -hmm. a lot too, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, for me, right? In my case, in my opinion, the attitude could be a good body, right? Because it's not like okay. just I cannot do it. I'm going to try mm -hmm. because I have to try and I'm going to try because of the mm -hmm. the purpose, right? And I and I mm. can do do this. I don't know how I can make the things, but I'm going to try to learn. That's a good idea mm -hmm. for me. But I know your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. I yes. just give you my opinion, okay. okay? So if you want, okay. you can write it down Thank both, you. okay? Both reasons. That's great. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I see you at the general meeting because I'm going to ask you why. Okay? Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You already finished the activity guide? Yes, did you? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to close the silence and the group because I was testing them and I was uh, looking for something that you need, right? Or maybe looking for the, the things that you may ask me. But now we are going to make a at evolutions in general, right? So what do you think Karen or Mr. Perez have to be promoted? In brief. Maybe Mr. Perez. Why, Alex? Alexis? Because she because he was com como se dice compromiso compromise okay he he is compromised uh -huh. for the for the company mm -hmm. with a company uh -huh. and the uh, Carla creo uh huh Karen and Karen uh -huh. she has a bad Bad, bad attitude. Bad attitude. Okay, excellent. That's your opinion, okay? Okay, Freddy, Freddy, why, who do you consider how to be promoted? Karen or Mr. Perez? Ready? Excuse me, teacher. I know no encuentro la respuesta. <laughs> Denise, please. <laughs> yes. William, Can you help me? <laughs> can you help me, please, of Denise? <laughs> please, uh, <laughs> okay, Denise, go ahead. The promotion, the Karen Solano. Yes, we think uh, Karen Solano should be promoted. Yes, think. Okay, excellent. <laughs> why? Why, Denise? Okay, why? Uh, it's very we... beautiful. <laughs> so, physical. 
it's now it's working <laughs> the best. She's yeah. working person. It's a working person. Uh huh. What else? Yeah. And we think that maybe if she gets, uh, she gets the job, maybe she can change her attitude. <laughs> oh, okay. With the promotion, and we think that she is the best because um, she has leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Leadership skills. Leadership skills. Muy bien. Yes. Ex excellent. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Something else. Only yeah. that. Okay, Only perfect. That. Excellent. <laughs> so, Morelia, what who do you think uh, should be promoted? I think Raul Perez should be promoted because, uh, yes, he came later, le later, but he has a commitment letter, so he can change that. And... Mm -hmm. He can be a leader with training and having more responsibilities. He can be a proactive person, I think. Mm -hmm. the, he, he has more possibilities to change the, the, the things that he is doing bad, I think. Okay, excellent. <laughs> the the is more difficult to change. And the, I think. Okay, perfect. Who is agree? Alexis. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Okay, perfect. So you are a tear. <laughs> okay. Who else thinks that Raul Pez should be promoted? Me, teacher. Okay, Maria Jose. Why, Maria Jose? What do you I was working. Here? I was working with Randall with uh -huh. the schools, uh -huh. and we will choose Raul because. It's more easy that we that he developed his skills as a leader mm -hmm. that uh Miss Solano changed her attitude. Her attitude, okay, perfect. So vamos a ver qué más. Verónica, what do you think? I think uh Mr. Solano. Why caring? Uh, uh, should be promoted because she has a better performance, and I she is always punctual with say me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, likes to work and, and grow. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Thank you, George Ernesto Hernandez. What do you think? Hello, yes. Uh huh. Who do you think should be promoted, Mr. I, S. S. Solano or Mr. Perez? I think Karen Solano. Uh huh. Why? Because uh, first she is a leader. Okay. Leader. A le leadership. Leader. Okay. Leader. She is proactive and communicates ideas. Uh huh. Although she usually comes later and violates some rules. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Who else? Vamos a ver quién me faltaba. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Hmm. Eh, Daniel, ah, ah, no, Daniel dijo que tenía problemas ahorita. Eh, Victoria. What do you think? What do you think should be promoted? She or he? Or he? She. Karen Why? Solano. Why, Victoria? Uh, because she is proactive. Mm -hmm. She is a leadership. Or mm -hmm. She has a leadership skills. Okay. Is punctual. Is always punctual. Punctual. And likes to work in group, mm -hmm. and also it and completes the work assignment. Mm -hmm. Assign it. Assign it. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Maritza. What do you think, Maris Maritza? Sorry, teacher. 
se me fue el Inter y ya no estuve en esa última actividad. Ah, No, okay. no sé de qué. <laughs> <risa> ok, no worries, Marixa. Thank you so much. Vale, chicos. Entonces, eso es como ustedes tienen que explicar, ¿verdad? Esa actividad, pues, nos ayudó. Siento que nos ha hecho hablar, ¿verdad? Todos hemos opinado y ciertamente se da como un debate, ¿verdad? Entre sí y no y por qué. Entonces, Teacher. estamos explicando por qué. Ajá. Karen Solano. Karen Teacher. Solano. <risa> No, yo no quiero opinar, me van a linchar. Si sí. sí, digo, my opinion, my opinion. Sí, va a Karen Solano. I don't know, I'm going to evaluate it. Voy a evaluarlo. Un día me tienen que dar, mañana les digo. Ok, thank you so much, guys. Vaya, esto ha sido súper nice la actividad, me ha gustado mucho. Creo que ustedes también se han sentido cómodos con la actividad, chicos. Pues si se fijan, it's time, guys. It's time to go. Well, see, the time pass, pass when you are talking, when you are thinking, or you are participating in an activity that give you an interest, right? Or make you get interest, right? Like this one, right? Okay? So, thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you. Después uh -huh. de Thank you. Teacher, después uh -huh. de seis ciclos, al fin okay. una actividad que fue llamativa. <laughs> Ay, gracias. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, teacher, no, no con the book. usted, sino the después book. de los seis ciclos pasados, de los seis meses. <laughs> sí, del book. Vaya, mire, este, para los que no estaban hablando del book, ¿verdad? Y los, y de los, de los courses, right? Para los que no estaban, Brandon tiene una información muy importante. Brandon, te voy a pedir que vuelvas a repetir la información para los chicos que no estaban porque no estaban todos. Ahorita estamos 20 conectados. Quiere decir que está la mayoría y es necesario que ellos lo escuchen también. Ok. Es sobre cuánto tiempo dura, digamos, los niveles. Por ejemplo, el nivel... Bueno, todos los niveles básico, intermedio y avanzado duran seis meses. Pero a diferencia de la, del, del básico que duraba cuatro semanas, el intermedio y el avanzado va a durar un mes, una semana. Entonces sería, digamos, cinco semanas. Ese va a durar el, el intermedio y el avanzado. Ok. Vaya, pero los que estaban pues, con la duda, ¿verdad? Igual que nosotros el día de ayer con Alexis también. Estamos pues, pensando, porque yo la verdad no tenía esa información, este, cuánto duraba cada nivel, ¿verdad? Que sería el básico, el intermedio y el avanzado. Pues Alexis preguntó, le agradecemos mucho por la información, ¿verdad? Preguntó y pues nos resolvió la pregunta, ¿verdad? Son seis sí. meses por cada nivel, ¿verdad? Son seis, ¿verdad? Y es en los niveles medio, intermedio y avanzado, ya no es solamente cuatro semanas del curso, sino que son cinco semanas de curso, ¿verdad? Aumenta por la módulo. semana pues. Ajá, por módulo, así por es. Módulo. O sea que estamos hablando entre casi siete meses, más o menos. Siete meses y medio. Uh -huh. ¿Para decir? Sí? Okay. ok, thank you. Vale, ahorita estamos en el nivel, ¿qué? En el nivel cinco, ¿verdad? Entonces nos faltaría... No, este, es, este sería el último nivel. Ah, eh, sería así nosotros... es. Sí, Ajá, es que no pasaron, siguiente... ¿verdad? Sí, es sí el, siguiente, el siguiente mes ya sería el nivel 1 del intermedio. Del intermedio. Entonces, este mes, digamos, finalizamos con los básicos y pasamos a los intermedios, ¿ok? Yes. Teacher, Chau, ¿alguien chau. tiene la programación de todo el, el, lo que se ve? O... Lo que se no. ve en cada curso. Sí. Pues, ¿Me lo comparto? Ahorita no, ni yo la tengo. La verdad, a mí se, cada ciclo, ¿verdad? O cada curso, pues me dan la programación del curso que voy a dar. Entonces, no te sabría ah, okay. decir. Pues. Okay. Ay, sí, no. Decía yo. Sí, sería bueno, ¿verdad? Pero sí, hay sí, que... Es que sí, más o menos uno tiene la idea. De qué es lo que se va a ver y lo estudia. De por sí. dónde le van a dar... En la ¿A qué se va a enfrentar? ¿A qué se va a enfrentar? Dice. 
Yes. No, yes. hombre, discover, yeah, right. enjoy, ¿verdad? Disfruten y descubran, ¿verdad? Ok, George Alberto Laines Díaz. Tú, tú tiene... tranquilo y la ticha nerviosa. Mm. <risa> yes, you're right. Las disculpas del caso, pero he estado full de trabajo y no puedo poner nada de atención. Sí, así vi, este, George, no se preocupe, pero si no puede ver el video el día de mañana, a las 8 de la mañana, pues chicos, ya va a estar. Pues a, de la mañana, a, la, a la disposición a las 8 de la mañana ya tiene que estar ese video subido y usted pues lo puede ver ¿verdad? también. Si no, pues vamos a mandar un video de refuerzo al grupo. Oiga. Por favor, sí, hay muchas gracias, disculpas, pero me lo perdí. No, no problem. Sorry. I understand that. Thank you so much. Bueno, well, chicos, it's time to go. It's five minutes past ten. So have a nice rest of the oh, night. Nice. And have a oh, nice yeah. dream. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hasta, la, hasta mañana. Vamos a la camita. Hasta. A dormir, ¿ok? <laughs> Make the homework tomorrow. <laughs> no, teachers. <laughs> I know. Sí, es chistoso. Rachel. ¿Cómo le va, Rachel? Ay, bien, teacher, gracias a Dios. Llegó por fin, Rachel. Ay, sí, teacher, que hoy estoy saliendo a las 7 y en todo lo que está horrible el tráfico, ahí, el salvador del mundo. Sí, me imagino Ay, eso. Me vengo subiendo al microbús a las 8 y media. Ay, mira, se me está acosando un montón. Sí, ahí se, por, se pone terrible, ¿verdad? Igual que Por lo que están mira. haciendo ahí, como toda la gente se, se baja en los vehículos y hay veces cierran también un tramo en la calle porque trabajan de noche, entonces, ay, bien feo. Ay, está horrible. Está horrible, sí, tiene razón. Bueno, el modo sí. Richard. Ahí le diré mañana primeramente, Dios, nos vemos entonces, tal vez puede llegar un punto, si no, le mando el video, ¿ok? También, Thank you so much. Bye-bye and take care. Good night.